All right, guys, I'm gonna do a video. I haven't done a video in a while. Um, this is the back room, which this has not been in any of my videos. So I have four four foot cages, and then I have a rack system over here. Um, I got the Super Tiger Ultra in here, or the Ultra Super Tiger here. Uh, the Motley Sun, she's in here, and then I have Motley Tiger Male, had albino here. Um, purple albino, ivory, uh, sunfire super tiger head albino, and then I have a male super dwarf on the bottom. Anyway, some of you know, uh, recently got this ivory, originally owned by Mike, some of you guys know him on YouTube, Mike Vedica, he's got the uh, Retic Room YouTube channel, and uh, he ended up selling her, and we couldn't find her. We didn't, you know. Well, he knew who she went to, but um, no, you know, no one ever heard from the kid. Never saw him on any of the forms. Uh, so we thought there was a lost cause. And then eventually, he got a, a, you know, a year and a half later, he gets a text message from this guy. Uh, hey, you want your ivory back? So <clears throat> I ended up taking her. He had already purchased a new ivory, so I ended up, uh, you know, lucky enough to get her back from the guy. And she was in terrible condition. Now, uh, if you read the post on The Nation, uh, I pulled up, jumped out, he had her in a tub. Her no, her entire snout was wrapped with electrical tape, which just blew my mind. I, I know you see that like overseas in Indo, but I've never seen someone in the States do that. and It literally pissed me off. Um, she had a lump in her stomach. She had a bunch of stuck shed. She had a terrible scar, like red, like... Uh, open wound on her head and I said hey what you know what's up with that oh that and he said very nonchalantly oh, that's just uh, her trying to get out of her cage so if it wasn't for the lump in her stomach I don't know if I would have bought her or not if I would have taken her because uh, she looked that bad and she shed like a week after I owned her so that stuck shed was not like from a recent shed like I had been sitting on the animal for however long um, and she was no bigger than what she was when she was sold so she literally probably was fed, you know, a meal once a month, I'm guessing, because she didn't grow much at all. Uh, she's around 11, you know, 10, 11 foot. She's only 20 pounds. She's a 2009, so she's, she's definitely sm uh, small for her age. Uh, but uh, I'm glad to say that she, after I was soaking her every night, I was putting some uh, medicine on her head. Her first shed, she was probably 95% look better looking. And then her second shed, which was maybe a week ago, she's almost, I'd say she's 99% better looking. All her scales are fine. She had a bunch of red inflamed scales. I think he kept her in like some bullshit wire cage. Um, so now she looks, like I said, about 99%. The scar on her head is gone. Um, and she still has a great feeding response. So that's, like I said, when I saw that lump, I said, you know what, if she's eating, um, she definitely can be nursed back to health. You know, the animals are pretty hardy. With some food and some TLC, you know, she'll do fine. So again, her feeding response is there. I'm not going to use the tongs. I'm going to try to keep myself. Well, I probably won't be able to hide behind the glass because the camera's there. But um, she was roaming earlier because I had the rabbit falling in the room. So she knows it's coming. She knows it's in the room. So let's see. This is uh, just shy of a four pound rabbit. There she comes. It's not that well lit in here. Here she go. Man. I want her to turn to her left. Here you go. There it is. See, that feeding response is still there. Amazing. So, like I said, that's like a four pound rabbit. Um, her first, I think this is her fifth meal with me, and I was doubling up like uh, one and a half pound rabbits. And now she, you know, she would take a four pound, and I'd say in two days the lump is gone. So she's no problem on four pounders so within time you know six months and she's going to be you know looking amazing she already looks great after a shed but 
her lights aren't on and I can't, they're on a timer which is behind the rack, so I'm not going to pull the rack out and turn the lights on, so it is kind of dark in here. Um, so you're not going to be able to see much. getting ready to build another rack. I built this rack for the AP cages. I'm going to build another one. Uh, I just ordered four, uh, four new four-footers uh, with heat panels. And so I got to build the other rack. It'll go side by side with this and I'll do away with this tub system because uh, I will no longer need that. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, it's too dark in here. I'd show you these other animals, but uh, I'll do another video tomorrow with you know when it's light on in here. So, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good night.